Hello YouTube, RingoFan25 here. And finally, Season 3 is over. And welcome to this channel update. Here, I'll be telling you what we have in store for the future. As you can see, we have Thomas, which of course is the main character. I guess you could say that. We have the Flying Scotsman. Hmm. He was only really mentioned in one episode. I wonder what he's doing here. Oh well. Uh, and then we have Scarlowe and Reneus, our narrow gauge engine representatives. And on that note, the movie will be released very soon. I'm hoping in October. And if I'm lucky, I might try to get it on September 24th for the 4th year anniversary video, but I might not be able to do that. And if it is not released then, it will be re released on October 10th. So, there is that. Save Sodor will be released on either September 24th or October 10th. And, but don't take my word for that. But, and here's some news. I've been, been holding this for a while. An introduction to the new series. That's right. Before Season 4 begins, Season 4 will begin, don't worry. But it will begin, hopefully, it won't begin very soon because I'm doing remakes again. Yes, remakes. And what kind of remakes? Well, let me tell you. I will be doing the style of remakes that Thomas Wooden Episodes does. Probably not as good, but that'll be the style. And after remakes, I will have maybe four or five episodes of Tales from the mid Sodor Railway. I might be mis I might be mistaken on the name, but that is Duke's Railway. With Duke, Stewart, and Falcon. And that I will be doing a series of those. Maybe five or six episodes. Of Stewart, Falcon, and Duke. And then, I guess we'll return back to season four. And Ringo Reviews will be going through all the whole time. Through all this. So, yeah. Really not much to say t about the future here. It's honestly quite simple. I'm very pleased where we are right now. Because during Season 3 was when I gained triple digits in subscribers. And I'm very pleased with that. I might be trying to do a Q&A. But it won't be in the near future. It would probably be towards 150 to 200 subs. Or we might actually have a number of people asking questions. That was one of the first videos I tried to make was doing a Q&A. And of course that failed. So, yeah. And as far as expansion goes, I am trying to expand a great amount on track. I That is where... I lack pizzazz. I recently bought a 132-piece set to maybe try and help with that. And it came with a miniature shed. I'm also trying to purchase Tidmouth Sheds and Tidmouth Station. And actually, speaking of purchase, I am very close to purchasing a Tidmouth Sheds Deluxe set. The only reason I haven't yet was because I'm about $40 away. So I will be trying to do that. There's not much, I mean, is that I really don't want the storage box that comes with it. I'm really just looking for the set for expansion purposes because it comes with Tidmouth Sheds and a lot of rising track. And that's really what I'm looking for. I don't have much room to work with here. So, yeah. I will be trying to expand a great amount on track by purchasing purchasing sets. 
Because I, I've gotten to a point where I have more wrong stock than track. I, I've been wanting to do a collection video, but it's just hard because I, my, my collection is always expanding. I might try to do one in the near future. And there's also some more news. He was only mentioned once, really, in the series. He did not really get much airtime. I, well, I guess he did get a review. I guess he got he got his own review, but that was really it. We never really saw much of him other than a mention in which coach is which. But I am proud to say he will have a storyline in season four. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the monorail. So what's the monorail doing on a wooden railway layout? Well, one, it looks really awesome. Number two, it will, will one, he will not be referred to as the monorail. His name in the series will be Walter. If anybody can get that, get the little joke there, please tell me. Because I honestly think no, none of you will get it. But I thought it was kind of funny. So this is Walter. He will be debuting in the one railway. Also, I guess layout information for season four. There will be a custom made Crovin's Gate. If you're wondering what that is, Crovin's Gate is the big station where Stepney and Duck took Bowler's or Class 40's train to Gordon. It is the same station where the narrow gauge engines meet with the standard gauge engines. It is sometimes referred to as the top station. And the top station will be the station that I, I've come up with a way to actually create that station out of wood and I will be doing that and it'll look really nice if you're wondering if you get an idea in your head I'll give you some ideas of the parts two blocks of wood two poles maybe a special engine shed roof yes Maybe a special engine shed roof, or a different roof, or a custom made roof, and a Napford station roof. So that's just to get an idea in your head on what it might look like. And if I'm really lucky, I might be able to pick up an MC bun. And you will also be wondering what that is. It'll look really nice. Also, you probably noticed this eventually. And if you look down at what I usually call the big station, there's that little building that looks like Maithwaite. I'm not sure what I'm going to call that. I really, uh, I honestly don't really want to call it Maithwaite because it just reminds me of Hit Entertainment. And I don't really like that. So it'll probably end up being something different. Anyway, that really wraps up this little you know, update. There's not much left to say. Other than the fact that, like I said, I'm trying to purchase the Tin Myth Sheds Deluxe set. And I would like to do a review on it because I've not seen that yet from any user. I would also like to see Tale of the Brave. Oh yeah, that was uh, what I was going to mention. Tale of the Brave is, it was a really nice movie. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. And I think you will if you watch it. It's on YouTube. I watched it before it came out and I'm pretty sure a lot of you did. And if you haven't seen it, it is a really good movie. One, it, it, It's one of my favorites. There's also been speculation of a Thomas and the Magic Railroad original like the director's cut of the movie. That I will be doing. The rumors are true, but that will not be in the near future. That will be after season four. 
That will be the movie for season four, I guess. I guess I'll try to set up season four to build that up. Or just have season four separate and do two movies. But it will not be very near. Is what I'm trying to say. Well, we're about to hit the ten minute mark. I've wasted enough of your time. Thanks for watching, guys. This is RingoFan25 saying goodbye and thanks for watching.